Today we're going to go up to Gamer Sanctuary. Um, today is the new opening of some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I wanted to pick up. So I'm going to do that. And uh, then I wanted to check out, well, I have to go grocery shopping for my mother. She, uh, she wanted me to pick up a couple things for the house and uh, we'll see what else happens on the way. I don't, I'm not really too sure, don't know, but we're going to have a good day today. And uh, you're gonna come with me. We're gonna come with me to this good old day. One thing that I really wanted to like, kind of like, say about or talk about is like, we we uh, we came up with a different timeline, like idea in theory. We had talked about it, it was a like I said, it was a long conversation, but uh, different theories about how in one timeline, if I had made a different choice of say, if if me and him didn't become friends then where would we be now? And uh, it was a really good conversation. I really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, it's just it's just something to think about. Like, if you didn't make decision A, where would you be in life B, you know? Like, say, if you didn't get your, like, like say you didn't get your hair cut one day, would you nail the job or would, like, or if you did get your hair cut, did you not nail the job, you know? Like, if you got the job, what would that say about you in the future where you're like a CEO or something? But if you didn't get the job, where, even if you still became a CEO, was there any difference in what happened? Or, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a long journey to where you get from being here, like being who you are now to being who you are in the future. And uh, I just was questioning like every decision I made because I was playing. If you can, if you remember when I was playing, what is it? Life is Strange. I was playing Life is Strange a couple days ago, and that's like that's something to think about where I can rewind time and see my choices and see it all play out in front of me. And the fact that is this a good choice or a bad choice? What would this do to my future or what would this do to my past? Can I, you know, can I see that? And we just, we just had a long conversation about that. And uh, he had many a good valid points about how like there's so many different variables you could never tell. You could never tell if this choice messed up your life or if this choice messed up your life. You could never tell that. And the, also the fact of, well, if, if you wanted that to happen and if that made you a better person or not. So it's just a lot of, a lot of things and it, it, was, it was a crazy conversation. We stayed up to like 1 a.m. talking about, you know, stuff like that, just stuff like that. So I just wanted to share with you, you guys, about like, what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think maybe if I, like, if I made a different choice, in my life would something else be different or if you made like some try like if there's a different choice that you could have made what could have been different in your life hey look at this out here this stuff's crazy holy crap yes uh. This is my friend Jasmine right here. Say hi, Jasmine. Say hi to the internet. But because you, you're on my vlog. This is Dre. Big Dre. Yay! <laughs> and then we got Nick and Casey over there. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, I got a picture with him. It should be. It should be on my Facebook. Colorless six converge. No. Okay. No. Uh, the uh, waste lands did not count for your converge. So it's not a color. Uh, no third one for your teammate. Any other questions? No. All right. You may begin. Shock, shock wave energy drink. Just drink it. <laughs> Just drink it, man. Just drink it. I've never heard of Shockwave, actually. That means you don't go to Speedway enough. And then Jasmine over here just quiet. So you just quiet. I ain't even drink your Shockwave. I'm open. 
was black. I think black. I have a lot of good white clothes. That's my problem. I bet you do, you racist. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were the racist one. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Nick is so ruthless. Hang on, try hold on to that for me. Hey, baby. <laughs> you see these eyebrows? These eyebrows do tricks. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the vlog, you know that, right? <laughs> it's recording right now. Alright, well, I'm gonna get going because I need to find my Yu Gi Oh! Okay. I, mean, I can't pay for stuff like this if I <laughs> Later, Casey! Later! <laughs> well, that was fun. Pretty intense. Out in the snow, carrying them on my camera. It's so weird. Like people are looking at me. This lady just looked at me right here. What am I? A famous guy? I'm not famous at all. I just, I just like to carry around my camera and show people about my day. Oh man, snow is crazy. Yeah, they told me they sold out of the newest Yu-Gi-Oh boxes, and uh, I would call like a different couple other different places, and they were sold out, and I, I couldn't get them. So I did the next best thing, so that way today wouldn't be a complete bust. Is that I bought packs, uh, thanks to Walmart. Walmart hooked me up. I, I went there and I, I got a bunch of packs. I got like 12 of them, so you know a whole box is like 24 book packs. So I got 12 packs just to you know just to put in this vlog here and check out. So let's see what we got here. That'd be cool, cause uh, I really, I really wanted a box, but no place had them, and I was surprised when they said they sold out. And I have to take a look online and see if I can find some. But I wanted to get some of the new cards and check them out. Ooh, whoa, Buster Blader, Swordsman of Destruction, Swordmaster, Destructive Swordman. So I got right there. That was that was a good find right right off the bat. First pack, first try. Oh, that's the one with the, the security tag on it. Walmart, you do a good job of making sure nobody steals shit. Especially you get those. Those are like high steal shit. Uh, Rejection reborn. And what the world is the. That's why. That is why. That's exactly why. I, I was wondering. I was wondering why these cards are sold out. This is why. I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's true or not, but I think this is why. The new Cyber Dragons come in this, don't they? Don't they? That Cyber Infinite Dragon. It comes in this, don't it? Cybertech Rampage Dragon. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that makes a lot. Of, that that makes a lot of sense. Why everybody would be trying to get these now? Cause it has it has Cyber Dragon support. Oh my God! Then that puts me back in the running. Cause I I run Cyber Dragons. Well, I guess you know what that means. I'm buying two boxes of these then, and seeing what I get out of them. All right, here we go. It's not even. I don't know why. We'll put you in like mega focus, mega focus up there. We'll put this in mega focus. There you go. There you go. That's a pendulum. That's that cyber dragon. I don't know. If, I can't tell if it's in focus or out of focus. These are the hollows I got. There we go, that's better. I think that's the one from the like the front pack piece of pack. 
I'm gonna do some research, and I'm gonna find out if that cyber dragon is really like the cyber in this mega dragon, whatever the new, the newest cyber dragon is in this. And if that's true, I yeah, I'm gonna buy two to three more boxes of these because that's important. That's why they're popular. And that's the that's the Buster Blader. Yeah, that's really nice. So oh, yep, I just looked it up, and this is this is the Wikipedia, the Yu-Gi-Oh wiki, and in the list of cards, right there, it, it won't show up because there's no picture, but right there, Cyber Infinity Dragon. So that means that I will be buying a few more of these because of the fact that that card is like destruction and all, and I like the the uh. The, what's the the Buster Bladers, but that has nothing to do with my Cyber Dragons right now. We're getting a new washer and dryer, so uh, I gotta go down in the basement and move some stuff around. And uh, got my trusty flashlight here, because it don't have no power down there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's go find out what's down in the basement. You're not a project I got going on here. Okay, so you see this wall right here behind me this one right here this is a blank wall this is a blank wall for a reason Be the reason being wait, 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 there you go. the reason this wall is so blank is because that roof it leaks we have a leaky roof so the problem what, what we did was me and my friend Jeremy got together and uh, we fixed the roof or so we thought. It still kind of leaks, but it's not that it's not as bad as it was before. It was pretty bad before. But uh, this is what what the thought is. I got an art project going on here, so let me show you what I got going on here. So I got these right here. Those are just regular old two dollar foam board. Some good old Mod Podge, Mod Mod Podge, and this is the gloss kind because I, I like the gloss kind and command strips. And if you, if you know anything, you'll see where I'm going with this. And lastly, a bunch of comic books. I got like the Miles Morales Spider-Man because you know I'm a, if, if you do know me, you know I'm a, a fan of Miles Morales Spider-Man. And then a couple of the Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. And the idea is to make this wall go from plain to nice wall background, this part too. Just a nice wall looking background here with comic books kind of just going right here. And I can change them out if I buy some more comics and some more uh, phone board. So, you know, one week it could be Miles Morales kind of Spider-Man-y. Another one it could be like We Are Robin kind of, you know, comic books here. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try this out. And hopefully by the end of the week you could see it and get a good look at it. I'm going to probably vlog it when I'm, when I'm done with it. And hopefully you can get a good look and see how it came out when it's done.